Today on Sports Beat, softball scores a milestone win, swimming prepares for a championship, and a special one on one interview with Alexander McElby. Welcome to Sports Beat. I'm Victor Lee, your host. Today we have Darren Gradbury, PCC Courier Correspondent. Darren, welcome to the show. Thank you, Victor, for having me. It's finally nice to be in front of the camera for once. Absolutely. So I hear the softball team is doing great. Great as might be an understatement. They're currently on a three-game win streak, and with two games left, they have already eclipsed last season's win total, and they're currently 20 wins, 16 losses. Wow, who's playing? Oh, well, they're led by their home run, home run queen, which is Holly Riker Sloan, in their freshman season. She already has the Lancers all-time home run um, record with seven, and she still has two more games to go. No way, and she's a freshman, right? She's a freshman, but everything is in large part to second-year head coach Monica Tanlinger. She's just a firecracker, a great coach, and someone who you and I would probably want to play for, too. Wow, and she was in the NCAA, right? Yeah, she's a NCAA player and former assistant coach on the Division One level, and we're so glad to have her here. She's already made a turnaround with the Lancer softball team. That's great. And so you've been to the games, right? The games are amazing. The energy that head coach Tanlinger exudes is just, it makes you want to swing a bat. Absolutely. Wow, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. And uh, what's the energy of the crowd? The crowd, they always, they, the crowd loves their Lady Lancers. We always root for them, and sometimes even me as a, as a reporter, I have to calm myself down like, hey, you're working here, son, because they're just that good. I think they can really do some damage if they can get it at, at large bid. Wow, that's great. So what are some games that are coming up? Their next game is tomorrow, actually, this Thursday. They'll be on the road against Chafee, and it's a really very important game. If they win these last two games, they can possibly win an at-large bid and get into the playoffs. Well, the Lancers are on a winning streak, aren't they? Three games, and t Coach Tanlinger hopes to make it 10 by the end of the season. And is it, is it not a record in the last four years? Yes, it is. They haven't won 20 games in the last four years, and Coach Tanlinger is just amazing. You can tell that she has the ladies in the positive direction. That's great, that's great. And moving on to swimming, I hear that the Pasadena just had its Invitational. Yes, the 15th annual Pasadena Invitational was actually earlier this month, and the ladies did exceptionally well, ranking fifth out of 20 teams, and the men didn't do too shabby themselves this year, they finished eighth. That's great, who was swimming? Oh, the men are led by Mohamed Esmilian, which was won the Crescendo Award this season for the second consecutive year for having the fastest combined times in the 50, 100, and 200 meter freestyles. Wow, so those are his events. What is, what is the Crescendo Award for? The Crescendo Award is basically Muhammad's award now. It's for him having the fastest combined time in those three events, and he showed out again this time. That's incredible, and the coach, who's the coach? Terry Stoddard is once again the head coach. He's been the head coach for some time now, and he's a very amazing coach. He's a very amazing guy, and if you get to know him, you could see why the ladies are doing so amazing. That's great, and so how about the men? How are the men doing? The men are doing well, actually. They're not as good as the ladies who are currently undefeated in the conference, but Muhammad makes everything better. The ladies are undefeated? They're undefeated, they're dual conference champions already, and the SEC championships are just right around the corner. Wow, and so what other meets are coming up? The SEC championships, that's all that the ladies are focused on this right now, this week, and if they do well there, they can, do, they can go to state. Wow, wow, is this team nationally ranked? They're not, unfortunately, but with Connie Payne performing like she has, I wouldn't be surprised to see them go up in the ranks. Wow, that's great, that's great. And so, uh, coming up next, uh, an interview with Al Alexander McElwee, with Darren and, and Sprinter, Alexander McElwee, coming up next. When sports beat so you recently turn. broke your own 400 meter record. What is it like breaking your own record, and what are your uh, goals for the rest of the season? Um, it's nice, but at the same time, you know, my ultimate goal is to get. Uh, so, Darren, I know you've had an interview with Alexander McElwee. Yes, he's a very exceptional athlete. He exudes confidence, and you can tell he's very composed. You wouldn't notice that he just started running competitively, competitively three years ago, and he's a former cornerback on the high school team. Oh, no way. So just out of high school, and he's already got talent. Straight out of high school, and he's already the state leader in 400 meters. 
Wow, so he's gonna write history, isn't he? He's already written history, and he's very he's a very talented athlete. Head coach Armand Crespo is very lucky to have him, and he said that he's very excited about his future. Great, great. Tell me about the interview. Well, the interview was very great. It's not my first time meeting him, but every time I meet him, it's just like we've known each other for a long time. He's very composed, he's very laid back, and it just makes you want to just relax your shoulders a little bit. Good, good. Let's check it out. I'm Darren Granberry, PCC Sports Editor, and we're at Robinson Stadium on the beautiful campus of Pasadena City College with Lancers track star Alexander McElwee. Good afternoon, Mr. McElwee. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? All right. I'm very good. Thank you very much. So you're already, you only have been racing for three years competitively, but you already made a name for yourself in your freshman year. What separates you from your competitors? Uh, I'm definitely, I definitely work harder than all my competitors. Um, I've really put a lot of emphasis into my training, you know, this summer and even the fall. Um, I come in to every, you know, meet with a little bit of confidence just because I know I've worked harder than the rest. So you've already won the top runners in 400 and 200 meters. What is a day in the life of Alexander McKelvey? Uh, well, you know, I wake up like anybody else, uh, eat a nice breakfast, you know, eggs, bacon, uh, toast, maybe some oatmeal, uh, come to school go to my classes, hydrate, go to practice, that's about it. So how do you keep, continue to improve? Um, well, I, I just can't be satisfied with, you know, where I'm at right now. I just gotta keep pushing, you know, wherever I get to, I gotta not be satisfied with that and, you know, get to a, another level beyond that. How do you approach a meet starting off? Like, what's it like? Or do you get nervous at all? You seem like you're very, you're very determined. Um, I'm determined um, only because I know how hard I've worked. So I always get nervous, you know, that I feel like that's just a natural reaction. I get nervous, but, you know, once I hit the blocks, um, all the nervousness kind of goes away and I just go and race. All right, and you're racing for first year head coach Armand Crespo. What's it like racing for him in your first freshman year? Um, it's nice. Uh, it's a very nice transition from high school to here, you know. Um, he pushes me really hard, you know, he wants to get the best out of me and, uh, you know, without him I probably, you know, wouldn't be where I'm at right now. What's the biggest difference between racing in high school and then coming here to PCC? Mm, the coaches demand a little bit more than in high school, you know, um, definitely practices are a little more strenuous, but, yeah. Thank you so much for taking your time out to talk with us. I know you have a busy schedule. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you. All right. From Pasadena City College at Robinson Stadium, I'm Darren Granberry. Back to you in the studio. Wow, what a great interview. What a great guy. I mean, Alexander's just an amazing talent. You can tell that he's going places. And Armand Crespo is just excited to have him. His future is very bright. So tell me something interesting that happened during the interview. Well, actually, Alexander was sick. He had a stomach flu, but you would never know by the interview. He was very professional. He, we gave him his time, and he did everything within the breeze. It was quick, fast, and in a hurry. And he's still breaking records while he's sick, isn't he? Still breaking records and still showing why the Lancers are going to be a contender come national time. So tell me something you learned from Alexander McElwee. I learned that if you work hard and continue to do what you have your goals or continue to set goals and set them high, anything can be accomplished. I mean, the guy, he's a very hard worker. He gets up early and he finishes races, drinks a gallon of water a day. Well, before practice, actually, he drinks more than a gallon. He's just an amazing talent, and he exudes that, that confidence, that Lancer spirit that he shows, and he's just an amazing talent. Wow, that's great. Sounds like a great guy. A great guy, and he's coached by an even better coach. Oh, who's the coach? Armand Crespo's in his first year as the head coach of the uh, track and field team. He previously has experience with uh, cross country, and now he's full-time track and field and cross country. So we're having an amazing season, and Alexander's really to thank for that. Good, good. So what are some track meets that are coming up? Well, actually, the Mount Sac Invitational is coming up this weekend, where Alexander will compete against D1 colleges, and Coach Crespo thinks that he can perform with them, and we will see. Good, good. Well, that's all we have for today. Darren, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for watching. That's it for Sports Beat. Victor Lee, signing off.